Hey guys, so got a really cool unboxing video experience for you today. Now I don't have a switch yet, but I just didn't want to miss out on this really awesome special edition Xenoblade Chronicles 2 controller. It's the pro controller for Nintendo Switch. And I've been sitting on this for uh, probably about four or five years now. I picked this up on eBay forever ago. But we've got the Nintendo Entertainment System Max controller, and it's still like sealed and stuff, which is absolutely nuts. See, this is copyright 1988. So this controller is effectively 30 years old, and it's still in the box. So we're going to take a look at both of these controllers. So let's check that out. Gotta hit up the new stuff. And uh, got that look. Front, the side, and the back. Ooh. So we got the charging cable, so that's great. But then, oh, oh wow. <laughs> That's fantastic. Yeah, the uh, this pink this pink maroon color is a lot darker than what it looks like in the picture. We got this really bright seafoam green accents on the buttons and the little slash. We also have a little sword logo embossed underneath. But uh, yeah, so other than that, it's just a standard Pro controller. No headphone jack, which is really unfortunate. Feels really good. I, I still think the Xbox One controller is my favorite, but this just feels, yeah, that's, that's something. Really good. Got the official seal of quality, so that's always a good sign. Oh my gosh. Um, that's pretty good looking though. Power in the palm of your hands. Got the official Nintendo seal of quality. Got a 360 swiveling cycloid button. Oh my. <laughs> what? So we got some literature, which we'll check out in a second. But oh my goodness. Look at this. Look at this. Oh wow. That, and of course it, it's wired. There's no like wireless stuff. Oh, no shoulder buttons? Whoa. Interesting. So it's like a full on analog circle slider like the 3DS. I was expecting it to be quite a bit bigger. Wow, that's like a full on original Nintendo controller. That's amazing. And here it is, the NES Max. So it's got a little bit of, wow, so it does have a little bit of click. It can still click up, down, left, right, and then there's this whole freaking analog thing going, except for it doesn't snap back. So you got these inside grips and these outside grips at the back. And of course the classic Nintendo plug-in and the top. And here's a, an original classic Nintendo controller. We gotta check out this literature. Printed in Japan, I'd read this before buying my next game pack. Becky DeLong, age 15, <laughs> secret Nintendo Power Magazine. Oh my gosh, this, oh wow, this is so old and retro, I can't believe it. Wow, that's, that's pretty hilarious, like, oh my gosh. I'd get it straight from the pros. Yeah, so it's just a Nintendo Power ad. Oh geez. A manual, you remember these things, right? It's been a while. Look for this seal. In case you don't know how to use it, plug it in and you use it, that's how you use it. Cycloid, works the same as any control pad. Push it down lightly while moving the cycloid to go in the direction you wanna go. That's really cool. So they, it's basically an analog stick before the N64's analog stick. Got a 90 day warranty, well I'm sure we're a little bit past that. And then, last but not least, this is a freaking retro poster, mint condition. I'm absolutely sure of it. Now you're playing with power. Oh my gosh. Let's be careful with it. Wow, this is like, it's not faded, it's crisp. 
Whoa. Oh, I've got to lay it down. Whoa. That's amazing. Whoa. That's incredible. I'm, I'm framing this. This looks like about 11 by 17, I think. Wow. Yeah, that's definitely being framed.